Give me the near So let's live up to the thing them dog Yo, get them near Welcome to Chairs and Benches. I'm Mayoka and today we'll be doing another Ayasa Nice episode. But today I will be having a special guest. Actually a special chef. So I'm gonna introduce you guys to my dad. Hello. Yeah, so this is my dad and because of quarantine, we've been learning new skills. So you're gonna teach me your new skill. Hope everyone's keeping safe. <laughs> True show, she's so greedy for us. She's so craving for parties right now. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> I went and learned how to make patties, Jamaican patties. So come along with me. So if, if any of you guys know Jamaicans, you guys don't know Jamaican patties. Jamaican patties are super popular in our culture and I'm pregnant so I've been craving patties a lot. My dad is gonna teach me how to make the patties and I'm gonna take you guys along the process so you guys can know how to make Jamaican patties too. All right, we start by our flour. We're going to need butter and shortening, sugar, and then salt. Baking powder. And for coloring now we got turmeric and the curry. The curry kind of give you a, a little flavor to it. Some people just use turmeric alone, so I like it with the, the curry, curry powder. powder. And I'm gonna use buttermilk. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start our mixtures. Do you need any help? Well, if you want to help, you could chew in the salt. Okay. Yeah, put in the salt. All right, so. I'm throwing you in go, the salt. You go today. Then we go put a little sugar. Sugar, granulated sugar. All right, then our baking powder. Alright, so then we got the turmeric. Turmeric powder. Powder. And we got the turmeric and the curry powder. The curry powder gives it a little flavor. So, as you know, curry powder is something which is seasoned already. The turmeric is just to blend. Blend. Yeah. And then we're going, after that, we're going to stir that. The ingredients that we choose to use in the pastry of our patties is what make our Jamaican patties special. Okay. So the turmeric and the curry powder actually helps the, um, the flavor and the coloring. So you won't have that little pastry taste. You will actually have flavor in the dough. So the magic is in the dough, guys. So yes. we have to make sure that the dough is perfect. So we're going to stir in all of that together. So just mix it? Yeah, just stir it up. Well, I'm going to look about a shark in, so, yeah. This is what makes it, like, uh, flaky. Like the it's, flaky. It's L because it's a buttery it's, pastry. Yeah. The buttery pastry, so. That's what makes it flakes. So this, this is help, the magic. This helps with the flakes. The butter, the shortening, and the milk. Because milk is it's really buttermilk, right? So, it's just more butter. Yeah. I think it's even now. I don't want to mess this up. Well, the first time was not always the best time, right? Oh, so you have Especially to make... Especially have a beginner's look. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. I guess practice make perfect. So this is my first time, but I'm going to be doing this a lot because I love patties. So just mix it in. No, 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 no. We're going to need a fork. See if you could get, get me a fork. Get a fork. This is the butter. After the shorting, then the butter. So we just... Let's try and get them in a little cubes because we're going to crush it, we're going to mix it up. I want me to give you guys a history on Jamaican pots. So basically, our Jamaican pot came from our colonial background. So when the British came to Jamaica, they introduced pastry to the Caribbean and we just added our own twist to it so as you guys can see the curry the curry powder so based on the indians that came and introduced curry to our culture that's why we added the curry so we just add our own twist and then we have all the spices that we'll be adding to the meat and that's from our african culture so pretty much jamaicans like to add everything together because we're a melting pot of culture so we actually you can see that reflected in our food um, and that's what made our food very unique and stand out and very rich. So that's where it really came from. Can I just add in a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> so I might give him a break. Making the butter crust, so work up. Yeah, you know what? All right, you're tired already, though. 
All right, let's go. Yeah, so pretty much Jamaicans, as Jamaicans, we don't really do specific measurements, but I'll definitely put it in the description below so you guys will have something to follow because I'm sure you guys would want to try to make Jamaican patties when we're all done with this. So we're gonna make the, we're gonna put the milk. It's pretty cold, it's buttermilk. And it has to be cold, I think. Yes, it has to be cold because if you put anything warm in here, it's gonna melt the butter down. You don't want to melt butter, you want the butter to stay buttery. There you go. Oh okay. yeah, it actually smells so good and the color looks perfect already, so mm. you're not too bad at all. You guys notice it's kind of sticky for now, but you learn that out later why is it have to be like that. So I'll tell you guys later. Just take notes. So we're going to stick this back in the fridge. Okay guys, so I'm going to wrap this and I'm going to put it in the fridge to have it chill for about half an hour for this. We don't want the butter to melt. <laughs> Alright guys, so now we're on to the meat part. Oops. <laughs> so tell us about the meat. The ground beef. So we, we, we trying to use the, the lean, the lean up lean up ground beef and not the fatty type. This one is like um 80% lean. Mm -hmm. Not to get this whole lot of oil, oil in yeah. the patty, but your patty get too oily and all that stuff. So eliminate some of the juice. Juices. Right. So you know, we Jamaicans like to season with season or meat guys. Season your meat, it makes a difference. So we're gonna add garlic, homemade brown ginger. Then we have some thyme. So this is an all purpose seasoning, homemade. And this is breadcrumbs. We're gonna need this later on. We got a green onion and a white onion, which is, the green one is Kellyan, really. That's what we used to call it. Since we come to Canada, we start talking about this green, green onion. onions. <laughs> so um, yeah, so and this so, is a this is a green onion in its actual form, and we the star of the show, the Scotch bonnet. Yeah, we can't leave out our Scotch bonnet, okay, guys. Soy sauce and browning. To, we, we like our meat with colors, right? Yeah, we need yeah, that make, color. The color. Um, so you need so, a spoon or something. And stir. And stir. Yeah. Meat is already washed. So, here you go. So, blend. Mm -hmm. so, that's good. Alright, so. We're gonna go to our stove now. So, the other seasonings. We'll be adding them. We're gonna, have, we're gonna have to get our season all cooked up, just sauté them. That's we get the flavor and the, the real juicy Jamaican kind yes, of yeah. vibes into it. <laughs> yeah. So only the only thing we added to the meat before it went into the pot was the all-purpose, and then everything else will go in the pot with it. You guys will see. Just watch and learn. But I already feel like this is gonna be one and a half tablespoon of oil, cooking oil. To saute our stuff. Let's, let's bring to the pot at um, that we start sauteing our vegetable. How is it so far, though? So have far, you, so good. It's not as hard you, as I thought. Have you learned nothing? Yeah, I think so. I, I think I learned a few other tricks. So I'll be watching this video every time I feel for pottier. Right? No, I will say that I need I need him to still no. make my pots. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can do it, though, but I have him to make it for me. I'm not teaching you now. Yeah. <laughs> So it's like something is going on there. It's pretty hot. So we're gonna put in the, the white onions. Make sure they are cooked. Release those flavor. You start the dough smell well it well. Oh, this smells, smells good. good. Guess this thing is getting behind. <laughs> That's when you know it's good. Onion, onion, and make it curry. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering what, 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 what is going on, but um, yeah, fresh time. 
the juice man it up. Yeah. Ginger. It's just all about flavors right now. Yeah. I put the garlic last because it's easy to burn. Yeah. Soy sauce. Flavor, more flavor. Um we come now, give me the um the ketchup now. So we just go put the ketchup in it fully. Get everything out of mix clean. So so good right now. Yeah. Alright, alright, good. Everybody's all cooked up. Alright, time to add the Ground beef? No. No. Okay, so the ground beef, you want me to? Strong arms. So we'll break this up, that's everybody get all mixed up. But season your meat. This is the secret. You guys need to season your meat well. So he's showing you exactly how it's done. We will leave this until um, everything gets brown. Then that about, in about 20 minutes, we should be ready. We should be all browned and ready to go. Yeah, so once all the pink coloring is gone, guys, yeah, then we know it's that. cooked. And then we'll get back and see when it's all brown. We want to just leave that there. All right, so I've been watching Chairs and Benches for the 15 minutes. We gotta go back and check on our ground beef. So I'm gonna go back and check on that. Oh uh, yeah, so we're back. The 15 minutes, you see that nice. Wow. Color. Um, I think it's a little bit white still, um, still not brown enough. So I'm gonna have a little bit uh, browning on it. And grace. And I'm gonna turn the stove down a little bit. Oh, back back to my medium heat, right? So, yeah, let's get let's get down. Yeah, that color is juice? like See? that color is perfect. Yeah, this color is a boom shot. I love color. I love color. <laughs> this is the reason for the breadcrumbs now, the uh, juice to absorb some of the juices off of the, the beef itself. Yeah. And we don't have that runny stuff because you can see it in the pan for that. And you realize some of the juices are sucked up like that. Yeah. You don't want your pasta to be too oily, guys. Wow. Oh, you have yeah. to have the meat has to be perfect consistency in the pit. So the breadcrumbs is a good little trick. Just checking, just checking. So we go cover it for another five minutes and we should be ready to go back to I'm that ready, guys. go stuff. Here we go, in five minutes. So Siva, Siva, Siva. We're gonna turn the stove off. Take it off the stove, but you know these stoves um keep things warm. We want to get it cold right now. So we can actually after we finish with the dough, we could actually pack the meat in the dough. So we go take a little a little out of it and put it in the in my blender stuff here. <laughs> <laughs> we put some ground beef in it and um we're gonna blend it a little bit just to get a little consistency, a little smoothness. Because if you look at this, it's kind of lumpy in the pan. You want your to be a little like real sleek and neat. So we're going to put a little blend on it. A little twist, just my little twist. So. Alright, so it's nice and chill now. So now it's time for the. Is this a hard part? Mm, Nothing apart, I'm already done. This is the reason for having it so sticky is because you're going to have more flour to it, right? So make sure your surface is super clean. So, that's 
the floor is floor a little bit not to be to stick. So that's that's the reason for the floor. We're gonna roll it as you see we actually introducing our rolling pins. Let's see how far can I can stretch this from so we're gonna flower the top here. We're gonna put a little flower in the pin itself, right? So I'm actually learning a lot here. Let's go. Okay, so you do your work. And guys, in Jamaica, patties is something that we oftentimes eat for lunch as kids. It's like a whole meal and sometimes we add the cocoa bread. So we could probably insert, we'll insert a picture of how the patty and the cocoa bread looks. But this bring this is bringing back a lot of childhood memories for me, like having patties for lunch. I'm gonna add another layer of fat into this dough. We need to get the flakiness. We so, need that flaky patty. Yes, yeah, so and I fetch me the butter. So we're gonna just flake it off and just peel it and drop it all over the dough. What is this instrument? This is a potato peeler, really. Oh, so that's it's cool. A You're using a potato peeler to get the butter really thin. The shot is a little softer. That's why that's why I prepare the butter because the butter is a little harder. So we're gonna fold to keep to we're trying to get the butter inside of the dough here you know, without oh. melting, right? So Okay. So yeah. Here we go. Roll it, roll it. It's a bit of a for the sweet, huh? Yeah. Pro. Pro party maker. Yeah. <laughs> and guys, I have an extra little surprise to this video. Um, since my dad is here, he actually did um, an operation last month. I might go at story time, but. Today is a happy day. He actually thought that he lost this. And what? Yeah, so what? he thought he lost his ring at the surgery, but it was actually in my car. So here you go. It dropped out then. I can't touch it right now. Oh my geez. <laughs> so you. That's so. I know this would be a major nice surprise. surprise. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> so I know this will make your day. Man, so, I, I get patties, you get your wedding ring back. Well, I'm going to give you all the patties. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> See, the butter is all rubbed in now. Everybody's in. Um, now you can hear the stove on it. I guess we might have to put this back in the fridge. So we have it all folded up. We're going to fold it up. So when we're ready, we just roll it right back out. So you flour it as it does, it does it sticks. All right? It rolls back out when, whenever you're ready to make the patties. I guess sometimes it's smart if you make a lot of patties to have the, yeah, if the dough already done. Say it's you and Sean alone, you could just, are you going just to four patties? Mm -hmm. So you could put the dough, dough up in the fridge. Well, this has to go back because, you know, it's kind of getting a little warm in here. Okay. And the oven is on and all that, so the butter starts melting. So, just to get it back a little solid. Okay. We are back from the fridge. With this, the dough now, it's all set. You look at it, it's like a nice firm to touch. So, we're going to unfold it. It's gonna need a little spread. I need to spread a little bit. We just roll it one more time. Yeah, we just gonna spread it out. That's with that even spread. So if you look at at the um the ground beef that's spread up right there. So all right, we go use this the sauce to make my body shape. So here we go with a. Pizza cutter. I'll just circle this. So 
we just you gonna put the meat in it. Um, you gonna judge it. Make sure you got at least space for for closing the closing the the door. So you go all right. You judge it about halfway there. And you gonna leave something around the edge edges to to, to lock the party. Use this now. This is the egg mix. We just pushed around the edges. So and this it's is a bit for sealing. You're probably a perfect seal. This is when you get crafty. Yeah. Of course, it's all about appearance. Now we already got the taste down pat. So you take it over. So you want me to load up all of them and then seal them or just seal them single single? So you just use that finger tip, kind of. So I just want to go ahead, eh? Come on, come on, come on, try some. All right, guys, so I'm going to try to use a technique that he just told us about. So he said about an ounce of the ground beef and put it across half. Hey, getting better than I do now. <laughs> so you use your finger. Just tie it down. So you will floor the, put flour on the fork. Or you know the flour is, we're not getting sticky, that for it to stick. So you go, squeeze the, squeeze the stuff in it, squeeze. I'm gonna start sealing from this end. I'll just lay it on the pizza tray. This is all by now. We'll call that one now. <laughs> <laughs> call this one now. We're going to egg wash the patties right now. Just to bring up the colors nice and bright. And In 30 minutes, we should be cutting into one of these nice juicy patty. So this is a Canadian juicy patty. <laughs> all right? Well, the patties are ready, all formed. And take a, take a look at them, take a look at them, please. Tell me, give me a grading for them, please, down in the comment section. I need a grading. Somebody tell me how, how I'm doing. I'm gonna put these in the oven now. My oven is preheated already to 400. So we're gonna put it in the oven for like 30 minutes. And yeah. Woo -hoo. Here we go. We got nine. Like this. So see you in the next 30 minutes. All right, guys, so the patties are ready. So we're gonna take these out. Daddy, you gonna set them up for me? Wow. Now when the name now, it still look pretty. <laughs> these are. Well. Come to the end of the party, you come yes. to the best part of the video. The video. Yeah. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna oblige Tayuka to do the taste test. Yes. So take it away now. So I'm gonna cut it in half. So you guys can really get to see. Can you see that? I'm that so good. ready to that eat. Alright, so this is my favorite part. So, I don't know.
<laughs> this is my everyday thing. So, this is what we're doing on quarantine. Dad's making patty and I'm eating them. Huh? Thanks so, so much, guys, for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Like, share, subscribe. Yes. So, please, guys, share this video. I know a lot of you guys is home bored. You guys can be doing this. Learn how to make your own patties. Do your something own in Jamaican the kitchen. Patties. And if you want to see my dad again in the video, we're extremely close. If you guys want to see him in the video again, please comment down below because that will encourage him to come back in the video. If you ask, I'll definitely be back. But you have to convince me first, so... Yeah, convince him to please. come back in this video, alright? Thank you, guys. Please. Bye-bye.